as the sunniest mass rate. This time with how to install the homebrew channel on your Wii console. Uh, the homebrew channel is, if you don't know already, it allows you to launch third-party applications, uh, which are basically just applications that are developed by people other than Nintendo, thus third-party. Um, it lets you play some N64 games, uh, assuming that you can find the ROMs and uh, legally if you own the games in the N64 format. Uh, that's the only way it's legal. Um, and if you want more information, you can visit their website, which I will be providing a link to in the description. Okay, so if you want to do this, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need an SD card reader uh, if your computer does not already have one uh, built in. I don't think any Macs do. I've never heard of it. Uh, that's my preferred platform. I know some of my friends have PCs that have some of those in there. Uh, you're going to need an SD card. Don't worry if uh, your SD card isn't very big. Mine's actually only 512 megabytes and that's more than enough space. You're going to need a Wii Remote and Nunchuck and Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess game. Uh, as in some other of these videos, uh, you actually, uh, I mean, just want to reiterate, you do not actually have to purchase The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It is just needed once to install this. Uh, and you're going, if you have any saved games, uh, you're probably going to have to delete them unless you have a second SD card to back this stuff up on because it over, you're going to have to overwrite uh, whatever save games you have on there currently. Okay, now that we're over at our computer, I'm just going to put our SD card into a USB port using our adapter. There it is. And now to get the files that you're going to need, you're going to go to Safari or whatever your preferred web browser is. Go to the Google search bar, type in the homebrew channel. It'll be the first one. And click on download. Okay, and you're going to want the Twilight Hack 3.4, download that, and the .dol. In the past, uh, in previous versions of this, they have been ca called .elfs or .elfs. Uh, they are no longer called that. Uh, .elfs are not compatible with this version of the Twilight Hack. So if you find a .elf, or if you think you need a .elf because you've watched an earlier version, of this uh, kind of, of this uh, sort of tutorial, those are no longer in use, and you're going to want the .dol. Okay, so you're going to download the Twilight Hack, the .dol, and the Applications Package. The first one here. These are just uh, all the applications that come in this package. So when you after you download those, probably download to your download stack. We'll unzip these. I have them already. And so, you're going to want to put the dot, uh, the Twilight Hack onto your SD card. As you can see, I already have it on here. Um, you're going to copy it on here, like, but just by dragging it in there. And it's going to say, our, if you want to replace it, and you're going to say yes, because you're just going to be overwriting the uh, previous file that you had on there. Okay, and then you're going to go into the homebrew channel. You're going to want to copy boot.dol on here as well. And then finally you're going to want to go to your applications folder and copy these three things onto here as well. After that your SD card is ready to put in your Wii. Uh, let's go over to the TV and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, now we're over at our TV. We have our Wii console. Just put the SD card in the slot on the Wii. And turn it off. Now, 
go to the Wii settings, data management, save data, the Wii, and we're going to go to the SD card. But as I mentioned before, if you happen to have Twilight Princess save data already on your Wii system, you're going to have to delete it, otherwise it will not copy. You're going to choose the USA version, assuming that you are in the USA. Copy it to your system. It will copy. Bring it back. And now, you insert your Twilight Princess disc into your system. Start up the game. Restart screen. Select Twilight Hack. Start it. And now, when you get to here, just simply walk backwards. Did you get this screen? And after that, you're good to go. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. And from here, all you have to do is press accept. And then it will take you back to the system menu. And if you scroll over, you'll see we now have the Homebrew channel installed. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll try to respond to you and help you to the best of my ability. Thanks.